Hi Cancer, how are you? I hope you're doing well and I do love you loads and also um, we are going, we've just had the new moon which is the light known as the Lion's Gate so that's an, an opening to the next portal to a whopping change of energy okay so I hope you're not too sensitive because some people do react to the moon okay you come in with this is the reading for the 16th through the 22nd and then we'll be going into Virgo and next day we'll have the full moon so there will be a video on that those energies as well and you come in with the eight of pentacles then with the two of pentacles then the queen of cups and with the eight of fire so watch out for eight eight perhaps eight eight the eighth of august has major effects for you and on the bottom of the deck we have the all over energy and that is the wheel of fortune so there you go big changes are coming for you so the overall energy is um the wheel of fortune so you could be dealing with a taurus um or a leo or a scorpio or an aquarius or it could be a person coming into your life this is also the karma card what um, if you've done good or bad you will get it back threefold if somebody's done it to you they will get their karma back threefold as well so don't worry the universe is here to protect you okay and the universe asks you to make sure that you converse with them clearly so if you want something then talk to them put it out there okay you could also be going on to the next level in relationships or in career um, you could also be going on holiday you could also be going moving home okay now this is also like a, when i say next level you if you're engaged you might be getting married or if you're going out you might get a proposal you might get a promotion in career or a wage rise now this is an ending to a phase and new beginnings so eight eight with these two eights you're the only one so far that has had the two eights the lion's gate might be very significant for you definitely now we're going on to monday and monday you have the eight of wands so things are happening rapidly and very fast all at once it doesn't rain it pours with news you could also be traveling for work you could be traveling going on holiday so check your itinerary as well okay that could be news about delays or something else you could, this is not you this is scorpio but it could be you and the queen of cups or a pisces you might be more empathic around the eighth eighth okay you might be more intuitive more nurturing more sensual more sexy because more loving or more passionate this is a really good opening for you perhaps you might be more aware at work if you're in the healthcare you could be working in the healthcare or in the beauty uh, industry like a makeup artist or a physicist and that's somebody that does the makeup um, on tv for uh, personalities um, or stage you could be in the arts world as well um, you could be shining out you could be standing out more so be sure that you shine and don't be scared to come out of your shell because you are being noticed especially with the wheel of fortune it's turning in your advantage to a better time definitely also emotional you could be meeting the scorpio like i said or um, the scorpios here twice because of the wheel of fortune taurus a leo or um, aquarius now you also have the two of pentacles so you might be balancing your mind with your heart or your soul and your heart or your work um, and home front there might be a pretty heavy uh, workload because you've got the eight of wands things happening you could be moving home for work you could be um, wanting to do 
eight things or a dozen things at the same time. But take care of yourself. Be nurturing. Keep the balance. Keep the peace. Go at your pace. Also, the Eight of Pentacles is definitely recognition. Also, the card for promotions. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. You've got recognition. Could be also somebody that fancies you, loves you, a new lover. This one is sticking out. And look at that. She's sticking out. She's beautified. She's wearing a crown of gold. It looks like also a halo. So the divine is covering your back. Truth. An honest desire to know and speak. The truth pro produces beneficial results. So like I said before I even started and you saw me shaking the cards. Tell the truth to the cosmos. What you desire. Also to partners or potential partners or uh, employers. Say what you want and what you need. Also, 21 means three and, and be creative. Okay. You've got the horse and he's coming out quite frequently. So you might be riding a horse or wanting a horse. A horse is also power. You are very powerful at the moment. Start. You must start from where you are. Examine your situation and take a chance. So perhaps you might take a chance on the horses and you might win a return. Okay, 18 is a 9, so there is an ending. Again, we've got a beautiful person here dressed up to the hilt. You could be very spiritual. It looks like a god or a um, high priest, high priestess. So you might be more intuition. You might be dealing and working more in nature, but you've also got this wand. And this wand, um, or could be a microphone, you could be pre uh, presenting. Um, you could be telling everybody what you think, the truth, the way things should be. And the color blue means to me service. Okay. You like the police, the nurses, they wear a lot of blue. Beliefs. We all have certain beliefs that help us or can trap us and keep us from moving forward. Creative solutions toward creative solutions. 59, that becomes 14, 5. So don't get out of balance. Stay in balance. That really confirms the two of pentacles. Two means partnering up or balance. So Yes, be certain that you stand by your beliefs and principles. Keep in balance. Wow, these cards, I love these creativity cards. They're amazing. They, they, they just flow with the go. <laughs> Innovation. And uh, what have we here? Ooh, keep a shy. This is the Dutch uh, English saying, watch the cat in the tree. Or oh, watch the cat out of the tree. That's we've got the cat face here in the shape of a sun. So yes, the sun, somebody has an eye on you. Somebody definitely has an eye on you. Recognition, where was it? Here and here. Wow. Okay. You're on the right path. Sing your own song. You've got the bird here and you've got the path. Follow the path. It won't be straightforward. We always have our ups and downs and we learn from our downs and return into uh, a positive state of mind. Reset the mind. Innovation. Innovate. Uh, be inventive. Be creative. You've got the three here and you've got the four here. That will bring you stability. Have fun. Experiment. Inventing something that surprises and has never existed before. So... Invent yourself a new self, perhaps, or invent something for yourself um, that will help you to get the results that you wish and that you're going for. Right, I'm going to do... Now I've got the birds. This deck is with birds, mainly. And also, um, I love birds. They've got the freedom to fly. Okay, let's have a look. And I've got now the divine feather message. Okay, 
you have the finch. New opportunities and choices are opening to you now. Claim them. Yes, claim them. Claim this reading if you like. And go for what you want. That's the message here. So, new opportunities. You have the Wheel of Fortune. New beginnings, endings. Also, 8-8 eight, eight is prominent. Lion's Gate. Again, a new beginning. Go for it. Believe in it and believe in yourself. Have faith in yourself. You are worth it. You are gorgeous. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care, stay safe and be blessed. Please like and share. Thank you.